Good morning and welcome. I'm Dr. Peter Holmes, orthopedic surgeon, and I am host of your program, Ask the Doctor. My guest this morning is John Malfer. John Malfer is a physical therapist. If you have any questions for Mr. Malfer in the future, any of my other guests, two ways to reach me. Do it through the foundation. Help my kids with a little insurance. That's needfoundation.org or fax 696-9012. I'd like to talk about private health care preservation. Sounds like it's an important thing, and it is. Folks, we're wondering what's coming down the pike and if private health care indeed is still going to be legal. Now you say, well, that sounds ridiculous. How could it not be legal? Well, in 1992, when Ms. Clinton was going to come out with her health plan, it was going to be illegal to do private health care. Everything had to go through the government system. And if anybody decided to cheat and go around the government system and pay somebody, the doctor who treated that patient would have been going to jail and the patient would have been fined. In other words, no way. Now, you gotta understand or try to figure out why is it illegal to have private health care in a government run system? Well, there's gonna be waiting lines. No way around it. You're going to have waiting lines. If you want to see government health care system, go to the Veterans Administration and see who's waiting for their total needs. Okay? There's going to be waiting lines. So if you have waiting lines and everybody gets into the mindset, okay, I'm waiting for my total knee, everything's fine. But if one guy all of a sudden in the neighborhood pays for his total knee and gets it ahead of somebody else, then the people get upset. They don't get upset at the guy who paid for it. They get upset that they see how quick he got it and why aren't they getting it that quick? And so it becomes a barometer that the government can't keep up with in any of these systems, and so they make the private health system illegal. Now you say total knee, I don't mind waiting, but you know what, there's people waiting for breast lump biopsy months, okay? Bypass procedures, you know, things that's sort of important. And so if everybody's waiting for bypass procedures and some die, that's one thing, but if somebody pays for it and yet you die, that's when you get upset. Now, it's so in Canada, for example, it's totally illegal to have private health care. It was going to be illegal in 1992 in the United States. Why do you think so many Canadian doctors are operating in the United States? Well, the answer is they can't do private health care in Canada. So in that case, the doctors come south of the border, bring their patients with them, and they can do it there. They can't stop that. See, and they can't do it in Canada because if Jacques gets ahead of Pierre, Pierre gets upset. They even got to the point, see a lot of Canadians say, well, if I'm going to go to the United States and get treated, I want to get American health insurance. They made it even illegal for Canadians to get American health insurance. That's how much they protect the idea of not allowing private health care because it's a barometer they can't keep up with. Folks, I know we have the uninsured, but if we all become, quote, equal, we're not going to drag up the uninsured. The uninsured get treated at our county level. What we're going to do is drag everybody else down that has private insurance into the county level. Then we'll all be equally sick. These are my opinions. If you have any comments, care to help my kids with little no insurance, two ways to do it. Do it through the foundation. That's www.needfoundation.org or fax 696-9012 to ask the doctor. I'm Danielle. I injured my knee back in February, but thanks to the foundation, I'll be playing again. I'm Dr. Peter Holmes. The Orthopedic Need Foundation was formed to help those families who are underinsured or uninsured return their athletes to their sport. Please help us to return kids back to their sport after injuries like this. You can send your donations online at www.needfoundations.org or call 210-542-1722. All donations are tax deductible. Make a difference in a child's life.